Man, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, public news podcast. I got a shaky feeling over here. I got Mark, Jeff, Paul, and Ed just coming off the stage, man. Hey, you guys killed it tonight, dude. Thank that you was very awesome. Thank you. Killed Thank you so it. Much. Killed it. So, well, uh, you know, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Go ahead, Mark. My name is Mark Masson. I play guitar and sing in shaky feeling. My name is Paul Menchaca. I play drums and sing a little backup harmony. And I'm Ed, and I play keys about town and love playing with these guys whenever I can. Uh, Jeff Hiller, and I play the bass. Yeah, so I remember the first time I heard you guys, we had, had uh, like a little reggae festival or something. I, I forget what it was, but you guys were one of the first bands that came on. And next thing I know, I walk out and Ed's whole place is jamming. You know, yeah, yeah, they, they get down and you guys were, you guys killed it, man. And uh, I know we evolved from there and I had, uh, you know, Marcus, you were playing here every other Sunday last summer. And, you know, that was that was fantastic. People were loving you guys, man. And uh, so, you know, tell me a little bit about the history of the band. Like, how, how did this shaky feeling come about? Shaky Feeling came about um, about 14 years ago, and we are a spawn from the Beatles, Sublime, Grateful Dead, Fish, James Brown, you know, Michael Jackson, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All the influences are, you know, what made us want to start a band. I met this guy, he, I, I stole him from another band, he had a really good drum fill, and I went up to him after the gig, you know, and I, we sparked a conversation, started a band together, played a New Year's show. Um, played American Girl, <laughs> little Tom Petty. Yeah, you know, and uh, 14 years later, we're still doing our thing. We got Ed Lyon. This was his second second gig with us, so oh, he's sitting in. Very cool. You know, doing doing his awesomeness. Jeff Hiller, Miss, AKA Mr. Softy, joined the band about um, eight, almost going on about eight years. Yeah, special times. Time. We've been through a lot, man. Blood, sweat, and tears. You know, we try to tour, we try to record albums, you know, we try to bring something different to Ventura County that they're not really used to, you know, and um, we try to make it special and different every single time we play. So yeah. that's kind of the goal. Yeah, and then Mr. Softy, that kind of way we were talking earlier, you own uh, Softy Ice Cream, right? I, I do. Yeah. I, um, you know, I worked for Guitar Center for almost 20 years and worked my way up and I was in the corporate world and then they spit me out. And uh, I decided to start my own business, and ice cream seemed like a good idea. Amazon didn't sell it. The the other ice cream trucks were pretty ratty around Ventura County, and uh, you know, my motto became uh, ice cream and jam bands because I just wanted to get back into playing and seeing music, and I wanted to build a business that would let me do that, and it's it's really starting to. It's not a bad avenue of life to to go down. Yeah. You know? So do you guys uh on. on Oh, we see you. You know, you're playing these big shows. You guys open for, you know, like Fish, The Dead, or you know, because I see you on all these different, you know, huge festivals. No, that big. No. Pigeons playing ping pong. No, I mean whatever with them, but Fish does not have openers. I would know, yeah. The Dead had openers. Who opened for The Dead, Ed? Back in the day. Sting. Oh, Sting. Sting. Traffic. Santana. Oh, uh, see, so the like dead did have openers people, for sure, yeah. but but we're they only um, did for a limited time only. Right, it was in the later days. Yeah, you know? someone got booed hard. I heard <laughs> open up for the dead. I'm not. I forgot who it was. I wasn't there for that, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I've been to three the three dead shows and uh, two were <laughs> RFK and then one in Philly, and the, I was in the parking lot the whole time. And uh-huh. then one time I actually went in, walked right up front, saw Jerry, turned around, went right back into the parking lot. And That's at the disco van, and there it was, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we do play a really cool festival um, called Skull and Roses once a year at the Venture Fairgrounds, and it's it's about um, it's in April, about April 18th through April 20th around there, and um, it's pretty special. Nice. So that's where we what we do our thing, and then we try to you know branch ourselves out. You know, getting Santa Barbara, you know, San Diego, L.A. We don't do too much because you know we got we got little babies at home, and we're still trying to um, do that kind of life. Yeah. So so this was recorded tonight, and uh, everybody out there, man, you guys you could go back and watch it, and uh, it's phenomenal. These guys just just jam. So they you know people watching and everything. Where can they find your music? You guys on you know what what platforms are you guys on? Jeff Hiller, where are we at? I think we're on most every digital platform. Spotify, Correct to Mundo. Apple, Apple Music. music and Amazon. Yeah, we're on all the, we're on all all the stuff. So. Lots okay. of videos on YouTube. Shaky yeah, Feeling, yeah. you can find them. So. Yeah. 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 And a lot of great videos on YouTube. Yeah. I recommend yeah. the YouTube channel. We do a lot of our work on the Facebook and the Instagram. We rely on that. So. 
please like us on Instagram and Facebook and you know share the love and you know we hope to see see you guys soon yeah so before we, before we close out you know I like to ask uh, each one of you guys a quick question and gives because people you know get to know you guys that way and stuff like that and I usually ask you know what inspired you man to to, to pick up that guitar and just jam or the drums you know and play the organ and play the drums whatever you guys you know are into How, what, what was your inspiration you know what made you want Axel to do that? Rose there's no other question man and my my cousin Brian was pretty damn good at guitar so he uh, and he actually lived with us when I was a kid so I had to sit and watch him play I could never touch the guitars or anything but I had to watch him play and I get to drum on the tables and stuff like that so right, yeah. that's yeah. my thing Ezra's yeah. leaving Ezra's leaving <laughs> <laughs> love you guys Paul, I, I, I always love Paul's answer. I always forget the answer though. What's what's the main influence, Paul? Uh, my main drummer influence is probably uh, Mitch Mitch Mitchell from mm. Jimi Hendrix. Okay. Once I first heard him, I was like, well, all right. Yeah. I definitely want to play some drums. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. dad's my, my dad's a, a guitar player, so that's where, kind of where that kind of love okay. started, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I found drums. And that's yeah. it. <laughs> you're, 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 you like the band Tool? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for sure. I just went to Vegas last week, saw him, and Danny Carey is the, probably one of the best drummers I've he's ever seen. He's a monster. He's just a monster, dude. Yeah. I was watching him, just like, he's a whole show, and just sitting there, yeah, oh, yeah. this band, yeah. like, you gotta be kidding me. But, <laughs> so, what about you guys? What's your inspiration? Who's your inspiration? Certainly, Brent Midland from The Grateful Dead. First time I saw him play the B3, I was like, what's this guy doing with this thing? I, I'd never seen anything like it because I'd grown up with the more uh, the Rick Wakemans and the Keith Emersons of the world. And uh, yeah, so certainly, certainly Brent Midland, and certainly Paige McConnell, and um, yeah, it, it's uh, the the list goes on yeah. for sure. Yeah, Mr. Softy, who's your inspiration? Um, really, Phil Lesh and Chris Squire from Yes were the two. As a teenager, I listened to a lot. Yeah. Well, look, man, I know you guys are busy just getting off stage, man. I appreciate your time, dude. You guys killed it here again. Thank and, you. Thank you, know, you for having us out here. You Super guys are welcome here anytime. Job, man. Anytime, man. Thank so, you. Thank guys, you check so out Shaky Feeling. Go back, watch their live uh, performance, and uh, check them out next time they come here. You guys got any upcoming dates? Because this will go out probably you know, on Thursday. You got any shows in the next week or two? Man, we live for today and today only, man. I don't know what's happening <laughs> I mean, tomorrow. I play Ojai Valley Inn tomorrow, and then I play The Twist tomorrow. Um, Shaky Feeling is playing at Tony's Pizza, Tony's Pizza the... coming up in a couple weeks. When's yeah. that? March. 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 Like March. The end, the end of March, I think. They'll find yeah. you. They'll find yeah. you. Yeah. Find us. Look yeah. us up on Facebook and just follow the band. And, you know, we try to post. And you know. I'll, I'll be there. I, I love Tony's Pizza, man. Yeah. yeah. Check <laughs> you guys out. Don't overcook my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, guys, have a good night. Shaky Feeling, thank you guys so thank much, you. man. Thanks, Appreciate man. you guys. Thank you. Thanks, man.